Hello, today I will show you how to push your tags from Aveva Plan Scala to Aveva Historian using the, the Aveva Historian connector. So Plan Scala is running. You can see the runtime here. So you will need to install that connector on one of your client machine or you can install it on your server machine. But you need to have a, a Plan Scala client. The prerequisite is uh, you need to set up that settings and uh, computer setup editor. So the city API option, remote equal to one, need to be configured previous before before starting the connector. The connector will use that city API connection to 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 plan scatter. So that's done. In terms of the, the connector, so the connector is installed. So if I click here um, on the settings, so you will specify your uh, SCADA client here. So on that case, that's uh, the this local server. You will need to set up um, and define the, the username to connect to that city API connection. So in that case, I'm using engineer from the, the example project. In terms of the destination, that's the machine. So here we can see we have two options, Historian on-premises and Hindsight in the cloud. I will start with uh, Historian in this video, so on-premises. And I specify the, the name of my machine and all the credentials to connect to that uh, Historian machine. Uh, the directory, I'm using uh, the default path here and the request, I'm using the, the different um, intervals here. So it's 10 minutes for trains, events, and uh, 10 seconds for tags. So we can see the, um, the connector is connected to my SCADA system here, so the plant SCADA machine, and the destination is my Aviva Historian server. They're pushing information already. If I jump now on my Historian, Aviva Historian machine, we can see um, I have a, a around 400, 500 tags. Um, on that historian and we can see the data acquisition it's, yes so that's my connector here we can see the name of my machine pushing information to to have a historian with the number of values and the rate of that change we can jump as well on that um, aveva historian uh, chain tool let's open one to just to see Plus, okay, good. I will select uh, one of the tags. So this is all my plan scatter tags, which I'm historizing at the moment via the connector. So we can take one, for example, uh, that that uh, byte one. So we can we can put that here and monitoring what what is the status. So at the moment is on. We can see here. Um, let me zoom to one minute and just let it run like that. And now we'll just change that tags. Um, so that's my plan scatter runtime. And we can see here the alarm was on. We can deactivate that alarms. And we can jump on that. Historian and automatically uh, the tags is historized and I can see the trend directly on my Aviva Historian. So all these tags is defined um, and PlanScada, all these tags need to be uh, historized. So just before we, we end this video, I will show you on the studio what I did. So for the example project, I just um, select all my trends tags and you can see historized and I put uh, historized to all my trend tags here. So by doing that, all the trend tags on that page will be pushed to Aveva Historian. If you, if you want, we can just um, stop that connector, we can see plant scala is disconnected, the destination is disconnected, Aveva Historian, we can just monitor on Aveva Historian. My data acquisition for that uh, particular SCADA server is not available anymore.
but once I will restart that automatically the system will be able to recover and I will get the, um, the information displayed straight away to my um, Aviva historian and we will backfill the gap between that disconnection so thanks for watching and see you in the next video